We currently have with us again the Mitsubishi Strada. Let's do a review. This Mitsubishi Strada is of course Mitsubishi's entry into the very popular pickup truck segment and of course we all know that this is based on the Montero Sport or rather the Montero Sport is based on this one but they're related. Anyway, so what we have right now is actually the GLS Rally Art variant. So it was launched recently and it's priced at 1,429,000 Philippine pesos and we'll be checking it out if it's actually worth it. But before we get into the driving which we're doing right now, let's talk about the exterior and interior first. Rally Art is Mitsubishi's high performance brand for its off road and rally vehicles and racing team. It would be like Raptor for Ford. While the racing team still exists, it mainly represents Mitsubishi's rally inspired line, and this Strada Rally Art was introduced during the 2022 Philippine International Motor Show with various Rally Art accessories. And looking at the exterior, you can see that this is definitely still a looker. Much more with this Rally Art stuff. So what does this get? In front, there's a Rally Art bumper garnish with red accents and a tiny Rally Art badge. If we're not mistaken, the grille is also different and has the Mitsubishi name spelled out. The side then gets the Rally Art decals and mud flaps, and the rear gets more decals. All make it look sportier and very eye-catching. But since there's still a GLS underneath, you still get the basics like the halogen projector headlights, halogen DRLs, halogen fog lights, 18-inch alloy wheels, and LED combination taillights which have a slightly different look compared to the higher variants. And of course, being a Strada, it's still one of the sharpest and sleekest looking pickups on the market. It may be old but it's definitely aging very well on the outside. Now what didn't age so well is the interior and we'll talk about everything here in just a bit. So what's special in this variant? Well, we only have new floor mats, rally art floor mats and that's it. Nothing else here is different so they, they didn't give us any Rally Art badges, maybe some Rally Art the Rally Art logo here in the seats, but yeah, I guess we'll have to make do with that. So anyway, looking at the interior here, it's just very Strada. It's what we're familiar with already. So it's very basic, it's very simple, but it looks easy on the ice. And everything here does feel very well built because we have really good hard touch plastics on the dashboard, on the door panels, and we do have some really nice fabric materials on the seats. And then moving towards the steering wheel, we still have the same steering wheel as what we'd find the Montero Sport. And of course, it's tilt and telescopic, which is very nice. And then we also have our paddle shifters behind it, which, which are also really nice. Then the horn, it's just your typical Mitsubishi horn. And while everything here does still look good, again, it didn't age so well. So it is starting to look a bit old. Anyway, moving back to what we have here, we do have our analog gauges, which look really good. They still look good, they don't look old at all unlike the rest of the interior. But And we also have a screen in the middle, a small screen, which does show us some information like our trip computer. So we have our trip meter, we have our temperature, fuel range, engine temperature, and our fuel capacity. And then towards the center is our just our normal infotainment system. So it's a 7-inch touchscreen and it's pretty basic. It's the same as what we'd find in the old expanders, old Mirages if I'm not mistaken. So this is still very basic. It's just something that really needs updating. So I really won't talk about it. I wish they put here instead the one that we'd find in the Mirage G4 and the Expander, Expander Cross right now. Then down here we have our automatic climate control. So we do have that. It's single zone but it is automatic and it's very easy to use. We do have these buttons and a display in the middle. Then down here we don't have anything. So it's all blank switches then USB port auxiliary input, our cigarette lighter, which of course we don't really find these in cars anymore these days. And then some storage, our gate type shifter. So that's something that's, that you don't really see that much anymore. And of course we do have our reverse camera, so it's over there, but we don't have parking sensors by the way, but at least we do have the camera. Then more storage here, cup holder, some place to put your coins, storage under the center armrest, which is wrapped in leather. By the way, and of course, our parking brake right over here. Then going back to the seats, they're not the most comfortable anymore. So other pickup trucks, they already have better seats. But at least we do have a really nice material over here. So it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels really nice actually. And also, they're both manually adjustable. And we do have a decent amount of adjustability for the driver's seat. Now we're at the back of the Strada Rally Art. And 
it's still your basic pickup truck right here what we do get here that differs from other variants again is the or are the floor mats which don't have the rally art logo anymore but they are there and you do still have the red accent around the floor mats anyway everything here is your, just your basic pickup truck so we don't have air vents we don't have anything here except the door pockets our two usb ports so we do have two usb ports at least there's that and we also have a center armrest with two cup holders right over here so at least we do get those but other than that everything else here yeah the basics so we still have the same seat material really nice and then we also have lots of legroom at least there's that and of course expected from an older pickup truck these seats aren't as comfortable as well but these will do especially considering that they're not exactly the hardest so they are a bit soft and that does help a lot and of course if ever you do want to load some stuff you can always fold the seats up and i believe you can also fold them down so anyway let's go back to the driving and now we're back on the road and while we're stuck in traffic let's talk about the engine of this pickup so this is still powered by the same 2.4 liter inline four cylinder turbo diesel that produces 181 horsepower and 430 newton meters of torque paired to a six-speed automatic transmission it's the same engine that we have in the montero sport and i think it's still one of the best driving in the segment so that's really where the strada rally art shows us its rally art heritage whether you get actually this rally art or not but at least we do know that it drives really well so once we do get moving like right now you instantly feel the responsiveness of this engine so really helps that we have a six-speed automatic transmission instead of the eight speed that we see in the Montero Sport and you can feel how how well tuned this engine is especially when it comes to acceleration you never feel like you're gonna lose out on anything especially considering the fact that most other pickup trucks are more powerful than this most of them have more power and torque but still you don't feel like you're gonna miss out with this combination right here it's also really nice to feel how direct everything is here you can really feel how smooth the shifting this transmission is and there's no lag at all which is something that you can see in other models combination of the six-speed automatic transmission and this 2.4 engine really work well for the vehicle and of course compared to other pickup trucks in the segment again i think this is one of the best driving you can get one of the best engines then when it comes to steering and handling so this is actually in between most of the competition so in this case it's right in between somewhere maybe ford ranger of course that's really light and then a nissan navarro so that's on the heavier side compared to this so it's actually a really good weight it has a really good weight to it so it's nothing that will bother you when driving here inside the city or it's nothing that will be too light as well when you're driving on the highway what i do notice is that the steering wheel does have a little bit of play when it comes to passing over bumps whether you're going on city speeds or highway speed so there is that but at least when you do get a feel of it it really feels sporty it really feels comfortable at the same time even if with that sportiness so it's also really well tuned just like the engine then when it comes to ride quality i don't know if you've been noticing since we started driving that it is rather bumpy although it is a bit bumpier than i remember but i kind of expected that already since this is a pickup truck so it does feel like a pickup truck and it's nothing not that i'm complaining but it could do a little bit better but considering also that it is old it's already expected as well so of course a ford ranger and nissan navarro will definitely ride better then for road noise insulation wind noise road noise is very well insulated actually so it's very minor road noise that you get in here engine noise is also really well insulated especially if even compared to the montero sports so that i was actually surprised about that but wind noise is something that you can really hear and also some outside noise you can actually hear them as well say this car passing here you can really hear it's very audible so at least road noise is really well insulated well now again we're stuck in traffic so let's talk about fuel economy so inside the city we're able to do a decent number with this kind of traffic so we're actually doing around 11 kilometers per liter at most so we, this can actually go up to 12 but most of the time we'll be averaging around 8 kilometers per liter or 9 something like that then on the highway you can do as much as 17 to 18 kilometers per liter especially if you really try your best to drive efficiently so this is actually quite fuel efficient considering how old it is as well and of course overall is the strada gls rally art worth it i think if you're looking for something sporty if you're looking for something that is fun to drive that will really make you feel that you enjoy driving this is definitely 
a really good choice. But if you're looking for something that is very well equipped, something that is new, something with all the new technology, this is definitely not for you. But at least, despite its age, despite it feeling older, despite its basicness, it does really offset everything with the driving experience. And that is something that you don't really get that much these days with newer cars. So many cars, they bore you out. This one makes sure that you're having a fun drive.